our second annual Spring Fling and Music Festival. We have all kinds of events going on today. All day long we're going to have some of the best music you can find around, in my opinion. And we will have Kenny and Amanda Smith. Uh, we'll have a tribute to Steve Gully. Uh, we'll have Greg Marlowe. Kenny Smith will have a master guitar class, if you want to go and take that. Joseph and Samantha Hensley, Daniel Chumley, Josh McDowell, Dustin Ford, Smiley and the Love Dog. And we have two very limited tours of the old post office. Uh, we have Sadie Bright that will be portraying Irene Miller. She was the po first postmistress. And that's at 1130 and 12. And we'll let them tell you a little bit more. We would like to thank all of our sponsors. Um, first, we would like to say a big thank you to our partners, WLAF, La Follette Housing Authority, the City of La Follette, Postmark La Follette, Papa Chums, Music and Rarities, and the Campbell Culture Coalition. We are also sponsored by Hot Mess Hair Salon, Blue Chip Picks, People's Bank of the South, Bird Screen Printing, Lithocraft Printing and Office Supply, Pyro Shows, Katie's Restaurant and Catering, Scott Kitts, Jalen Kitts Malone, and JR Tires. And we want to thank Scott Kitts for sponsoring our Kid Zone and some of our musicians. And if, if you're a kid or not, they're going to have a lot of things over in the park. And it's from 10 until 6. They're going to have things going on all day. Birthday if, party for Smokey the Bear. Right, that's right. Birthday party for Smokey the Bear, I think around 11 o'clock. Smokey will, will be, be there, 80 years old. They have free cake for everybody. All right. Um, <laughs> so go over there, Nick. the price of admission right there. And, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, free cake over there, Daniel. <laughs> and if you have any questions, we're over here at the orange and white tent, and we'll try to answer them. We may not know the answer, but... Uh, we're going to introduce our first performer. Uh, we're kind of partial to him. We've known him for a pretty good while. Daniel Chumley, and I believe his dad, Danny, is going to help. And they're doing our sound today, and they're really good. We want to introduce Matthew Moore over there from WLAF. We always are proud of Matthew. But, but anyway, we want to say that Daniel's from Cumberland Gap. He's their Papa Chums. They'll have their tent set up over here and have some nice things for sale, and I'm probably forgetting a bunch of stuff, but anyway, we want to welcome Daniel to the stage. Play your heart out, buddy. Ready, Devin? 
Okay. As she said, I'm Daniel Chumley, and this is my father, Danny Chumley, playing bass. He's also the sound man, and he's uh, walking around with the iPad with the soundboard on it. So uh, we'll be <laughs> we'll get to it in a second. But yeah, I'm, as she said, I'm from Cumberland Gap. I've been playing guitar about 18 years now. I started playing when I was 11. Um, I guess it's closer to 19 now because I'll be 30 next week, unfortunately. But here we are. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to play original tune for you. Are we good, Dad? We ready? Can you hear my guitar out there? That's the thing about being the first act and also being the sound people is uh, we're the test run. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. This song I wrote is, uh, that I'm about to do is called Crazy Eyes. It was about a, a situation of a girl that I kind of had a thing with and it, it, went, uh, it went awry. We'll All right. Was the best I knew to be You still thought you were too good for me I guess you thought I needed saving When you were the one always misbehaving Oh, I'm going to start that one again Because I played it in the wrong key And threw the bass player off <laughs> My bad All right. And he blames the mistakes on me I was the best I knew to be You still thought you were too good for me I guess you thought I needed saving When you were the one always misbehaving You wait and wait for your charming prince when you're a wicked stepsister at best. Crazy laughing, crazy lies, should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Crazy, crazy eyes, crazy eyes, eyes should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Crazy eyes, crazy eyes, should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Yeah. Hit me with holy condemnation and curse me out in your intoxication. When you do it, it's justified. If it's anyone else, you would crucify. Yeah, that's right. Said that I couldn't take a hint, but you seemed to follow me wherever I went. It was always there, I can't deny. Should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Crazy eyes, crazy eyes, crazy eyes. should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Always there, I can't deny. Should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Crazy eyes, crazy eyes, should have seen it in your crazy eyes. It was always there, I can't deny, should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Yeah.
Yes, crazy eyes, should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Always there, I can't deny, should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Yeah, crazy eyes, crazy eyes, should have seen it in your crazy eyes. It's always there, I can't deny, should have seen it in your crazy eyes. Thank you, thank you. So this next song is going to be a little uh, fruit vibe. It's a love song. It's called Ohio Rose. It's another one I wrote. And uh, I hope you enjoy it.
This next song is kind of a funny number. Uh, <coughs> I wrote it just as kind of a, a response to some things I was seeing, you know. It was people I would see that I, I had knew that, you know, that I grew up with that were really kind of into like pop and bro country and all that. And then all of a sudden when Chris Stapleton and Tyler Childers and people like that came around, they were all of a sudden outlaws and started growing out their hair and doing all that. And I'm like, that's, that's, not, that's not you. <laughs> so I wrote a song about that kind of, and it's called Working Man's Country Star. country scene He swears I'll never be there cause I'm the real thing as he hides all his debts and receipts He sings about loving, he sings about hating, but most of all he sings about the bar He says I only like relatable songs cause I'm the working man's country stone his Kentucky home but sometimes it's hard to tell because it seems like he also sees it as some kind of redneck hell he'll talk about his nose being on the grind so no he's never really worked all that hard
Okay. We're going to cover that snare up for a minute. <laughs> okay. This next one's a goofy song I wrote that was kind of inspired by... Uh, it's inspired by true events. It's not a true story, but there was, you know, certain things about it. Is, uh, yeah, and uh, it was... It's called Whole Lot of Crazy for a Monday Night, and uh, my girlfriend was, uh, we, were we were just kind of goofing around. She said, well, that's a whole lot of crazy for a Monday night. I'm like, I got to write a song about that. And yeah, so that's kind of where it started. And then I just started thinking about some of the places I've played music in and just some of the people I've met and crazy situations I've seen. And uh that's how this came about. Uh, it's got a lot of words, it tells a story, so I hope I can remember all the verses. <laughs> Eddie's chugging coffee, shooting caffeine pills, breaking his back to be laid on the bills. He says that everything is going to be all right if he could just have a little bit of fun tonight. So he went to Little Joe's barbecue. He says he held a sandwich and a drink or two. And if fate and courage afford him the chance, he'll ask a pretty girl for an evening dance. Her name is Sarah, she's thick and tall, quick on her feet with a southern draw. She says, if you think you can handle me, I'll give you a dance and your drinks for free. So our man Ed decided to take the chance. He asked Sarah if he could have this dance. She said yes, and he praised the Lord. Then she kicked off her shoes and they hit the floor. all around the room hand in hand like some bride and groom but the awful secret that he didn't know was there had a man who was fixing a show his name is rick and he ain't too bright but he loves to drink and he loves to fight he's going down to joe's to see his bride it's a whole lot of crazy for a monday night got to Joe's and he burst through the door. He saw Ed and Sarah boots scooting the floor. He was seeing red and was ready to fight. He's a whole lot of crazy for a Monday night. So he chased after Ed cause he wanted him dead. He took a swing at him but hit Sarah in the head. She shook it off and she grabbed a stool. She broke it over Rick and a brawl ensued. Fine, except our man Ed. He said, I gotta get out before I wind up dead. He dove under the first table he seen, cause this night's been a scene from a bad movie. Crawling under tables till he got to the door. He saw something that he hadn't noticed before. Sarah's Adam's apple when it caught the light. It's a whole lot of crazy for a Monday night. A whole lot of crazy for a Monday night. If you stay too long, you're gonna get in a fight. Whole lot Doesn't matter who's wrong and who's right. Whole lot of crazy for a Monday night. Trey 
trailer park, Queen's Rage, Fuel the Line. Whole lot of crazy for a Monday night. Doesn't matter who's wrong and who's right. Yeah. Crazy for a Monday night. If you stay too long, you're gonna get in a fight. Whole lot of crazy for a Monday night. Doesn't matter who's wrong and who's right. Whole lot of crazy for a Monday night. Trailer park, we trade fuel the light. Whole lot of crazy for a Monday night. Doesn't matter who's wrong and who's right. Yeah. Whole lot of Lock that door. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm just so ADHD. I was just like, what? What's behind me? <laughs> okay. So uh, this uh, next song, uh, we're gonna take. We're gonna make, we're gonna do a sad one now. After that, kill the mood. Uh, <laughs> so this next one is called uh, "Never Be." Um, it was a song, I, I wrote it, I don't know, probably like four or five years ago, something like that, and I, I played it for my mom, and she was like, who did you write that about? And she was like tearing up and crying, and then I'm just like, honestly, I just made it up. <laughs> but here we go. And it's actually, um, I'll do a shameless promotion real quick. I have an album, it's out on Spotify, and this song is on it. I think it's like the last track, so... It's on, well, it's on any streaming services, and uh, it's on YouTube, and I have a CD copy if you want that, but all right.
of you and my sins are most atoned. It was never you, I'm broken and I'm ashamed. And I walk through this field of stones and I cry when I find the stone. You pick up all the pieces, but now we don't even know where to start. Well, I guess we won't get married, and my new shall never carry, and your grandkids won't look just like me. But I promise you'll be lucky if she ever finds another. That's half as good as me. daughter too and all the night she cried in my arms wondering why she'll never be good enough for you and if God judges like you do then no one gets to heaven even with lucky sevens we're all doomed I am a child of Jesus, so I wonder if he's good enough for you.
isn't what I wanted, but you got what you wanted. I did what I had to do. No matter how I tried, and all the nights I cried, she'll never choose me over you. Thank you, thank you. That's a song about heartbreak. <laughs> All righty, uh, I guess we, does anybody know how we are on time? Anybody? Okay, we started a little late, so I mean, we got a couple more, I guess. Ask if Josh is here. Is Josh here? Okay, there he is, okay. Okay, we got time for maybe two more? All righty. Okay, so this next one is called Massacre Mountain. Uh, it's one I released just yesterday, actually. And uh, my cousin's father-in-law wrote this poem about Massacre Mountain. I don't know if you know where that is. It's around Cumberland Gap. It's, uh, it was called Massacre Mountain because before they built the tunnel, there was a road that went over it, and there was a lot of wrecks, and a lot of people died on it. And he wrote this poem back in the 70s and just kind of set you know set it aside and copyrighted it and all that and then he wanted someone to put music to it and so my cousin contacted me to do that and so i wrote some music to it and i asked you know i recorded it for him and all that and i asked if i could put it out and it's uh it's streaming everywhere now this is a more stripped down version of it but uh we're gonna try it As he crosses the mound, many have passed through the Cumberland Gap. Restless souls walk there still today, and Massacre Mountain took so many away. But moonbeams appear, and the spirits come out, guarding the way through the Cumberland don't be afraid as you travel along. The spirits are watching on your way. Mountain, so cold in the night. Spirits are watching and keeping the light. And travelers come and travelers may go. Spirits stay on the mountain of old. But moonbeams appear and the spirits come out, and guarding the way through the cone. But don't be afraid as you travel along. The spirits are watching on your way home. But moonbeams appear and the spirits come out, guarding the way through the Cumberland Gap. But don't be afraid as you travel along. The spirits are watching. Traveler as he crosses the mound, 
Many have passed through the Cumberland Gap. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my hands are getting cold. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to do one more for you, and it's also an original tune. It's called Love, Hate, and Everything in Between. And it's a song, uh, it's about falling in love with your best friend, but not wanting to pursue it because it's a bad idea. <laughs> We've all been there, right? Or actually, wait a minute, actually. Yeah, just one more, sorry. to make a scene I hate how dumb I can be letting my feelings get the best of me I hate how you understand me I hate how you make me feel be chasing I know you won't feel the same I don't know what to do I don't want to lose you it's harder than it seems when you got me feeling love hate and everything in between
but I hate that I love you and I never have the words to say. My heart's always racing, I don't want to be racing. The best I can do is play. I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose you. It's harder than it seems when you got me feeling. Love, hey, and everything in between. I know I promised you. Sorry, I fell in love with you. Thank you, thank you. My name's Daniel Chumley. You all have a wonderful day. And, uh, We'll have a tent over here later for Papa Chum's Music and Rarities. Come by and visit us. We'll be selling records, instruments, and all kinds of goodies. And I think next to the stage is, was it Josh McDowell? It's Josh McDowell. So give it up for him, everybody.
Deep River Blue. Give me back my old boat I'm gonna sail the river She will float Cause I Get the deep river blues Going back to my soul shows Times are better than I'm told When I get them deep river blues If my boat sinks with me Now I'm gonna say goodbye If the sink just let me down Cause I get them deep river blues Josh McDowell, this is Gene Stevens hiding in the corner. Well, why he's hiding, I have no idea. He deserves to be out here with me. Let's hit him with Folsom. Right. Those people keep moving 
and that's what tortures me. This prison, that railroad train was mine. Better move it on a little farther down the line. Far from Folsom Prison, that's where I want to stay. And I let it lost whistle blow my blues up. Sun goes down on my side of town. The laws and feeling comes to my door, and the whole world turns blue. It's a rundown bar across a railroad track. A table of two.
Jukebox plays on one drink by drink. The words of every sad song seem to say what I think is heard inside of me. Ain't never gonna end. Oh, but I'll be alright as long as there's light from a neon moon. If you lose. your broken dreams dancing out of the beach of a neon moon to watch your broken dreams dancing out of the beach of a neon Before I do this next song, I'm going to do a little surprise here. My buddy don't even know I'm going to do it. Hit him with that instrumental. Yeah, that one you do. Yeah. a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world below there is no sickness to no danger in that bright world to which I Going there to meet my mother. She said she'd meet me when I come. I'm just going over Jordan. I'm just going.
Thank you. Give it up for Gene. I call him Gene the lean guitar machine. Or the mean guitar machine. Depends what day it is. Yeah.
We'll do one more Johnny Cash song for you guys, and we're going to get off stage and let these other wonderful singers get up here. it for us. Welcome and Samantha, right? All right. Come on up, man. I have been asked to make a couple of announcements. I don't know if it's just because I've got a sexy voice or what, but we'll just see. Anyhow, I'm just kidding. Uh, we've got a card that someone has lost here uh, with the name of Heather Brown on it. Heather Brown. If your name is Heather Brown, you can pick it up from one of the uh, tents. Which tent you want them to pick it up from? The orange and white one? Orange and white tent. In other news, they've got tours of the old post office at 11, 30, and 12. Is that, are those times right? All right. I've got short-term memory problems. 11, 30, and 12. So take those tours. They're really awesome. I think they have, what, the characters from the other play that they did? Oh, man. Yeah, that, those are great characters. 11, 30, and 12, post office, tours, card, lost, Heather Brown. Pick it up, orange or white tent. Thank you.
Testing one two. Testing one two. Hey folks, we have a one-time tour of the Old La Follette Post Office starting at 12 o'clock. It includes a visit by one of the local ghosts in the post office. So at 12 o'clock, we are limited to the first 20. Meet us at the front door at noon in about 15, 20 minutes. Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone out for coming to our festival. I'm Joseph Hensley. I'm going to start off with a Larry Sparks tune for you. Have you ever been to Richmond in November When the cold Virginia rain is pouring down Friend, I am here to tell you it's no pleasure When you're all alone, a stranger to the town Don't take me wrong, I do like East Virginia And Richmond's full of hospitality Except for one Virginia girl I know of Who made a perfect love wreck out of me Oh, blue Virginia blues There ain't no blue like blue Virginia blues There's no girls in this whole wide world That'll break your heart like Virginia girls There ain't no blue like blue Virginia blues She called me up in St. Paul, Minnesota Said I need you in Richmond right away Take the bus and I'll meet you at the station Bring some clothes, I might want you to stay Take the bus pull in the station late this evening There ain't a soul around this place but me She must have changed her mind or she's forgotten and her name ain't in the phone directory I wish I had the money for a taxi A warm and cozy place to lay me down 
instead of standing all alone in Richmond, while the cold Virginia rain is pouring down. next song I'm going to do for you is an old gospel number that Hank Williams Sr. wrote entitled I Saw the Light. slow things down a little bit now. This next song's a country number that Merle Haggard recorded originally. It's entitled Silver Wings. Thank you. 
silver wings is shining in the sunlight roaring engines headed somewhere in flight they're taking you away leaving me lonely silver wings slowly fading out of sight Thank you. This next song I'm going to do for you, I originally heard a Sam Bush do a version of it, and it's entitled Gold Heart Locket. I'm gonna 
cross that river tonight No matter what it takes And though I might die trying Our true love will remain And our gold heart flocking on a silver chain next song I'm going to do is a little bit different because up to this point I've just been doing bluegrass and country stuff. This next one's actually a CCR song. Just about a year ago I set out bad and things got worse I guess you know the tune oh stuck in a low die again rode in on a greyhound but I'll be walking out if I go I was just passing through must be seven months or more I ran out of time like we took my friends Oh, stuck in low die again The man from the magazine Said I was on my way Somewhere I lost connection actually one that was written by a local songwriter by the name of Dean Dillon. He's a La Follette native. I burn my desire Each time my heart fans a fire To that old flame inside of me She cried when I left her Now I cried to forget her How oh, foolish I was Ever want to leave Nobody in his right mind Would have left her I had to be crazy To say goodbye In his right mind What left her Even my heart Was smart enough To stay behind I still carry Your picture I wish her well With a new love I know she's found by now This night finds me dreaming Every day I spend thinking of how much I wish 
she was still around Nobody in his right mind would have left her I had to be crazy to say goodbye Nobody in his right mind would have left her Even my heart was smart enough to stay behind my heart was smart enough to stay behind. Experiencing some technical difficulties. This is why I always remember to turn your alarms off before you're set. I've never done that before. <laughs> well, it, I felt it vibrating the whole time. <laughs> This is the last song I'm going to do before I call my wife up here. This is a gospel song that really means a lot to me. It's entitled Pray For Me. Now, it's a traditional song that's in the Red Hymn book, but there's a version of the song that really means a lot to me that the great late Steve Billy recorded. And it means a lot to me. to invite my wonderful wife, Samantha Hensley, to the stage. She is multi-talented. Not only is she a great piano player, guitar player, singer, but she's also a teacher and um, teaches piano at Post Marco Follett here. I'm really proud of her. So give her a hand. Check one, two, test one, two.
You'll have to bear with me. This is only my second time playing the guitar on stage. You're going to do great. <laughs> I'm going to do a coat of many colors. Let me try to tighten my capo up. I'm going to do a little Loretta Lynn with Coal Miner's Daughter. Thank you. 
a bubble by the cola And everything would start all over Come break a moon Daddy loved and raised their kids On a miner's pay Mommy scrubbed our clothes On a washboard every day well, I've seen her fingers bleed To complain there was no need She just smiled in mommy's understanding way In the summertime we didn't have shoes to wear But in wintertime we'd all get a brand new pair from a mail order catalog, money made from selling a haul. Daddy always managed to get the money somewhere. Yeah, I'm proud to be a coal miner's daughter. I remember. It's a lesson too late for the learning Made of sand, made of sand Subways rolling underground, underground. Are you going away with no word of farewell? Will there be not a trace left behind? I love you better, didn't mean to be unkind. You know that. This I know, this I know. For the weeds have been steadily growing. Please don't go, please don't go. Are you going away with no word of 
hurt your ears with any more of me playing. <laughs> I'm going to do God Already Has by Dale and Bradley. can't sing without water. It had been so many years since she stepped inside a church. What had brought her there that day? Maybe guilt Maybe hurt when a woman worn but gentle came and sat down next to her. There in the last pew took her hand and said these words. She said, Girl, you look troubled. I'd Recognize that face that was me so long ago, another time, another place. But I stumbled to the altar when I heard him call my name. By the time I hit my knees, my whole life had been. See whatever road you travel, whatever you have done, every stain's been washed away by the Savior's precious blood. You can give it all that Jesus let go of the past. God already has When the shepherd has a sheep that's lost He never will give up God will always find you You can't outrun His love Let these words be a blessing for it's the gospel true. God's love is the greatest gift, and I'm the living proof. See whatever road you travel, whatever you have done, every stain's been washed away by the same.
one more for you. We're going to do There's a Record Book. I take being her daughter very seriously. Whenever I get the chance, I try to embarrass her. <laughs> I don't know where she's going. You're going the wrong way. I would like to say thank you to all of our sponsors. <laughs> Hot Mess Salon, Blue Chip Picks, People's Bank of the South, Bird Screen Printing, Lithocraft Printing and Office Supply, Hyro Shows, Katie's Restaurant and Catering, Scott Kitts, Jalen Kitts Malone, and JR Tires. Billboard sponsored by Joseph Hensley. <laughs> We were supposed to have a paper printed out, and instead we forgot, so.
Next up, we have our tribute to the late, great Steve Gully, uh, sponsored by Blue Chip Picks. Um, Joseph's going to say a few words, and then he's going to sing you a song. First off, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming out to this tribute to celebrate someone who's changed so many lives for the better. I first met Steve at his acoustic music camp at LMU when he was incredibly supportive and encouraging to me. He always liked to pop in during the classes to check on everyone and see their progress and everything. One time he came into Kenny's guitar class because he was the guitar instructor and he started talking about songwriting and what made a song special. He said that a song has to touch you in some way otherwise it's not worth anything. I'm going to sing a song for you that he originally recorded with Mountain Heart. I first heard someone sing it in church when I was little, and I didn't really know who wrote it at the time, but it's always really touched me because the words are just so impactful and meaningful. He always sang it with a sincerity that wouldn't leave a dry eye in the room. Uh, the song is entitled Patching It Up. And if, if I practiced every day for a thousand years, I couldn't do it justice, but I'm going to try my best. It seems that every time I need Him, my Lord is always there. When no one else seems to have the time, Jesus always cares. But I wonder just what I might do I called his name one day And the heavens above just opened up And I heard my Savior say I'm through patching it up I'm through giving you love When your world is torn apart and I'll never again wash away your sins and have been your broken heart. I'm through bearing your burdens and all of your hurting and giving your poor hearties. That's not why would I do anything for you and never do anything for me. My Lord is not that way No, He's watching over me Each and every single day And I wonder about His love His mercies flow so free what he'll say when I'm down on my knees I'll always patch things up I'll always give you love when your world is torn apart no matter where you've been I'll wash away your sins and mend your broken heart I'll 
I'll always bear all your burdens All your burdens And give you a poor heart ease Yes, I'll always do anything for you No matter what you do to me Thank you. Next up, we're going to have Brad Gully to the stage. He's Steve's son, and he's going to say a few words and sing something. I'm really glad y'all are doing this, man. I appreciate it. I know Dad would. Um, this area meant the world to him. He traveled all over the place, man, and one thing he'd always say is couldn't wait to get back home, uh, Claiborne, Campbell County, just this whole whole area. But um, I know this means the world to him, and uh, one thing he always wanted to see was people to carry on the music, and um, so I know he'd be so proud of you, buddy. I really do. And uh, what you're doing to keep this music alive and keep the festivals going and give everybody a place to play and so i know he'd appreciate it but i'm going to try to do one if i can make it through it real quick one of dad's he did uh local guy buster turner wrote it years ago i ain't played it in a while so we'll see how it goes though but uh he wrote this one's called beautiful altar of prayer he did it with dual lawson years ago and uh just a awesome song and uh Hopefully we'll be able to do it justice here. to the beautiful altar 
soul has been saved by the master from the dark hole of sin and despair and I'm thankful to my dear loving mother and to Thank y'all. Thanks for letting me do that, Joseph. I appreciate it. Next up is Greg Marlowe. He's going to say a few words and sing something. Right there. Be good. That work. No, that's good. It's an honor to get to do this. Uh, when Joseph asked me, the, <clears throat> the song that came to my mind hit me just like a ton of bricks instantly to do. Uh, Steve was a big influence, but more than anything else, he was a great friend to me. And about the time that I was ready to quit and give up and not do anything like this anymore, a conversation with him one day changed every bit of that. It got me start writing again. And uh, which I hadn't done in a long time. And I'll never forget him. And I'll always be grateful for that. How could he justify the love that he's given? How could he make himself that it was worth each drop? Just to save someone like me So won't you tell me how He could think somehow That I was worth And deserved eternal life Give me one good reason 
Maybe then I'll understand What led him to believe That I was worth The scars in his hand I've tried so hard To think about How he was feeling when they nailed him to that cross And life's so hard to live Knowing I'm to blame for What I know was earth's greatest loss So won't you tell me how He could think somehow that I was worth it and deserved eternal life Give me one good reason Maybe then I'll understand what led him to believe That I was one The scars in his hand So won't you take And deserved eternal life Give me one good reason Maybe then I'll understand What led him to believe That I was worth The scars in his hand Next up, Kenny's going to do a song for you, and I think he's going to say a few words.
We're going to do an instrumental for you. We sure love Steve, and um, I'm a crier, definitely when it's those who I love. So um, I, I just don't think I could sing one. But we're going to do an instrumental from the area that he lived, and it was so pretty over there, and we always love going up there. And uh, this is an old fiddle tune, ironically. It's called Cumberland Gap. Hello. Um, the tent is blowing up, so we're real quick. Everybody, can you just move out of the tent so they can take it down real quick? Sorry about the inconvenience.
worth more than every penny.
Check one, two. Check one, two. Hey, 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 hey. I think it's me. Check one, two. Check one, check one. <clears throat> check one, two. Check one, two. And, uh, it's called Winter's Come and Gone. One, two, three, and... Just 
y'all. Y'all know what's brown and sticky? A stick. Awesome. Thank you. That's a crowd participation. Man, somebody's following you around. Kenny. I know it. That's, I love that joke. We'll do y'all a song here that uh, this was our first number one in bluegrass. This was a love song. So uh, if you're not in love, this might be a great time to go get an ice cream cone. But uh, I'll try it for you right now. <clears throat> if a try. On those eyes, I'm about to lose my grip. Go easy on that smile, I'm afraid that I might slip. Lay off that corner, intent to me to try. Cause I'm so scared of falling, I'll never learn to fly. Then you say, Touch me, you can reach me. Oh, you make me wanna fly. It seems so easy as me if I try.
All right, thank you. You all ever see somebody really, really good looking, and then you go in for the hug and you bang your head on the mirror? You all ever do that? Every other day. Tell you what, it's exhausting being a trophy husband. What we got? All right, here's one that uh, was written by a couple up in uh, Kentucky, one of our favorite states. And uh, this one was, uh, we got off an old record called The Rights. That was their last name. And uh, we called Lay Me to Rest.
Here's one about one of our favorite uh, steel driving men, Mr. John Henry. And uh, I'd like to do this in 41 called John Henry Blues. Thank you. 
you. I think the wind's died, so we're going to put that tent back up. Wendy again, we're going to take it back down. Yeah, take it back down. <laughs> yeah, she's like, no, been there, done that. We are not. Oh, I got a whiff of something fried there a minute ago. I love being this close. I know, it's awesome. It's like such a blessing, right? That's right. I'll tell you what I've been doing here lately. I've been going to these uh, trailheads, you know, where these people go up there and hiking and stuff and everything. And I've been going up there and I've been taking the wheels off their cars. Because I don't want them, you know, when they get back, I don't want them to be tired. So <laughs> I'll let that one marinate on y'all. All right. I don't have any jokes, so sorry. <laughs> We'll do y'all a song that's off our latest album. We're going to have a new single out, hopefully, in the next couple Fridays. And uh, be on the lookout for that on your local radio station. And uh, but we'll try this one for you. This was the uh, title of the last album we did. And uh, it's called All I Need. Central Park, then headed out to upstate Lake Champlain. Went up to Montreal and heard a band playing mandolins while standing in the rain. I'd seen castle walls, some waterfalls, some bridges spanning over Venetian waterways. Backpack summer drifting through the mountains. With the European hostel stays. But all I need is you here falling in my arms and me there subject to your charms. I don't know if I have ever felt this way before. All I need is you. Light up the night. I've eaten dinner with good friends, authentic Mexican patio dining in the moon. I've spent days skiing sunny powder peaks and hiking up to science where the angels live. I've jumped off cliffs into the crystal blue and I've set up tents on the golden sand. But all I need is you here falling in my arms And me there subject to your charms I don't know if I have ever felt this way before All I need is you Watch the wind blow through the redwood forest. Heard the tabernacle chorus singing songs like angels do in heaven. But all I need is you here falling in my arms 
And me there subject to your choice I don't know if I have ever felt this way before All I need is you All I need is you I guess time to introduce my band. And uh, over here on my right, she does a lot for her group. She does uh, all the booking. She's our booking agent, and uh, she's also our accountant. She does all the road management work too. She tells us where to go and everything. And uh, she also does all the driving. All I got to do is. Sit over there and hold the steering wheel. It's an exhausting job. <laughs> I live for it, actually. It's my favorite hobby. Who needs quilting? Y'all doing okay out there? Does the sun feel good? I bet it does. Yeah. All right. I'll get uh, Kenny to pick this tune. I haven't right. introduced you yet. Oh, sorry. Forgot. She's your 2014 IBMA. Female vocalist of the year. Y'all make welcome, best part of my life. Miss Amanda Smith, folks. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. I'll uh, get Kenny to uh, play this song here for you. We'll send this out to the veteran out here, the gentleman that served for us. We'll send this out to you. Thank you for your service. We love you. Yeah. Send this out. This is an instrumental. It's my favorite tune that Kenny, one of that he picks. It's called Leather Bridges.
Thank you. We'll do a couple more songs here and uh, let the next band get up. We'll do a song here that Jeffrey Hyde wrote this next tune that uh, we recorded a few years back. And uh, it's one of my favorite tunes we've got to record. I love the words to this song. We'll have our CD set up over here by the balloons. Huh? Go, they're gone. Balloons are gone. Okay, well, where there were <laughs> balloons. <laughs> over yonder. Over yonder. Yeah. Past the food truck. This song's about a famous artist, that uh, illustrator that uh, painted a bunch of pictures for the Saturday Evening Post, Mr. Norman Rockwell and uh, Jeffrey Hyde. He uh, wrote this song. He had the vision of, boy, wouldn't it be fun if we could go back to those days and live in the Norman Rockwell world. Two boys skipping stones on a lazy riverbank. Mama's cooking in the kitchen, supper table giving thanks. And Grandpa stands with pride as all glory is unfurled. They're on the front porch rocking in a Norman Rockwell. I got a radio flyer. And I'm racing round the square There's a crowd inside the five And dime the barber's cutting hair And the mom and pop soda shop Is full of boys and girls Living, breathing easy In a Norman Rockwell world They're just colors on a canvas A simple bygone days But they paint the perfect picture Spinning like a friend into the world What I wouldn't give to live In a Norman Rockwell In their rush, they don't speak. Hey, when my heart gets heavy and those dark emotions swoop, I close my eyes and dream. I'm in Norman Rockwell's world. They're just colors on a canvas, simple bygone days, but they paint the perfect picture. What I wouldn't give to live in a Norman Rockwell Thank you. Well, we'll be back today at 5 o'clock. Kenny's got a guitar workshop at 3. I think it costs 20 or 25 25 dollars at the city hall for an hour if you want to learn how to play like him that's Three the place to be steps. bring your burger and come along and, uh, and we're back here at five o'clock five o'clock yeah all right
All right, we'll leave you with this right here. Annabelle's been coming. Steve Gelly used to have a camp over in uh, Harrogate at LMU, and uh, Annabelle was really little there. And I remember when she met Joseph, she uh, came back to Debbie and Steve's house, and what'd she call him? Jofus. Jofus, yeah. That Jofus boy, he was so nice. <laughs> and uh, so we've never forgot that. So now we never call him Joseph anymore. And when we're at home, I'll be like, Jofus texted. But, um, just a little info there, a little history. I'll leave you with this one. It's called Black Mountain Rag.
Check, one, check, check. One, two, check. Yeah, little. One, two, one, two, check, one. One, one, one. Check, one, one. One, two, one, two, one, two, check. How y'all doing? Bear with us just a few minutes and we'll be ready to go, okay? One two check. Check one 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 one. Check one two one 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 one. Check one two one one one. Give me a little monitor, please. Check one two. Okay, a little bit more. More Yeah, hit the talent knob. Check one 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 one. There you go. One 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 one. Check two three one 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 one. One 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 one. Check, 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 hello, hello, check.
me questions are racing through my mind about everything. It looks like I made a mess, Lord. Got my back against the wall. You can't go well from the bench. Try to. But only took a deeper hole. I can't wrap my mind around why you can love someone like me. You reach way below the bottom. Pick me up and set me free. Lord, I thank you for your comfort. Every miracle I see. One, two. Try, you try your vocal one more time there. One. Check one, two. one, two. Check one, two. One, 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 one. Okay. Pull you up a little bit. Check one. <laughs> one, two, one. What is it? Up. Need to go up. He don't got the main zone yet. You may want them down in a minute. <laughs> yeah, you might be saying turn it down here in just a second. Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> you want to just kick off and go? Huh? Part of another song. He was saying grace over Tuesday blue plate special. Then a man in the next booth said, Don't you watch TV? Don't you know that God's a myth? I hate to see you wet your bread. Cause there ain't no use talking to a ghost that don't exist. The praying man said amen. He looked up from his plate. He said you may not talk to God right now, but there's gonna come a day. Whether, whether you're a farmer in the field. good musicians up here in a few minutes and we'll do that but right now we're going to make some ragging for you Against the wall, 
I tried to fix it all again, yeah. Every miracle I see Yes, it's time to end this prayer now. Well, time to start my day. One more time before I go, Lord. Thank you for your loving way. Your kind of sacrifice. Your mercy and your grace. Most of all for your forgiveness. Lord, I thank you for your comfort. Every miracle I see. He was saying grace over Tuesday Blue Plate Special when a man in the next booth said, Don't you watch TV? Don't you know the guy's a man? I hate to see you waste your breath. Cause there ain't no use to talk to a ghost that comes in. No! 
Josephine Morrow. Card. card for Heather Brown that has been lost. You got five minutes. After that, it's mine. <laughs> now, if if you're still here, you, you can hear me. Come on up towards the front. See this young lady right here, and she will hook you back up with your possessions. We're going to thank y'all for sitting out in the wind and the sunlight there to, to be with us. We really do appreciate that. We're going to we're gonna do a little, a little mashup. Thank you. Hope that you like it. Anybody like the Eagles? Got any Eagles fans out there? Okay. Yeah, we ain't the Eagles, I'm telling Yeah, they ain't here today. So we're going to steal part of one of their songs.
do for you is a uh, is a song I wrote about somebody that means a whole lot to me I'm, he's an amazing artist and one of the things and it, he lives to draw and paint and I literally does it that's all he does all the time one of the things that he does that I have noticed over the years that no matter what he draws whether it's a person whether it's even a flower an animal or whatever they always have a smile on their face. It don't matter. I got to thinking about that one day, and I got to thinking, man, that's the way Gregory sees the world. He's, he's, he's seeing, he sees it that way. And uh, I decided uh, that I was going to write a little song about that. Josephine Martin. Okay, you got a walk for... Card for Heather Brown and that billfold still up for grabs, Josephine Marlowe. She's Marlowe, I'm Marlowe, maybe she, I don't, you know, it could, I don't know. But yeah, if you're, if, if y'all here or know them, then please let one of the ladies up front know about it and uh, they'll take care of you. But I wrote this song about Gregory and, uh, I wish I could see the world like he does sometimes, and I really, it's caused me to strive to do that a whole lot. Hope that you'll like it. Song entitled, Everybody Smiles. To some he may seem a little different Most of the time now he's misunderstood But wrapped up in his mind there is a genius And he can't unlock it if he could, he would. He's got more love wrapped in his little fingers than this world has stretched out from end to end. And when he opens up and lets you come inside, I'm going 
gonna look him up up there in glory land and for the next one hundred years he can sit tell me all the things I did not understand well I know there are angels all around us and they come in every shape and size so don't look down on someone a little different Sometimes God wraps his blessings in disguise. Paint a letter, pray on and a paintbrush. Is all he needs to make his this world right. No matter what is going on.
Blessed Savior, that would guide us till we reach that blissful shore, where the angels wait to join us in our praise forevermore. In our praise This is another original song that I wrote. Have you ever had anybody in your life that was just real, real special to you and was such an influence on your life? Uh, this uh, song is about a fellow that was that way to me. Now, he wasn't a preacher. He wasn't a teacher. He wasn't a singer. None of that stuff. But he was one of the most real people I'd ever met in my life. He really was. And uh, he always was j made such an impression on me as a Christian of just how you're supposed to conduct yourself and act. And it didn't matter what dirty job there was to do around, and he didn't want any credit for it, but he would always volunteer for those jobs that nobody wanted and do them with a big smile on his face. And even though he went through some rough stuff, lo losing his wife and then his health turned bad, and the whole time he always faced it with a big smile on his face, and it seems like he could always find a positive in the middle of what would be a catastrophe. I can remember him standing up in church to request prayer for maybe some surgery that he was fixing to have, and he never made it to the prayer request for the praise report that he would give. And uh, that, that just left a mark on my life. It said, and I said, Lord, if I could, if I could model after anybody, it'd be like Johnny. So this song's about him. He was always right on time. Took his seat and wore a smile. He would testify how good God's been. How it freed him from sin. He just waiting to get home. Where you never be alone. Once again, you get to hold his darling's hand as they stroll through glory. Land. Now that Johnny's home, Sometimes he found it hard to breathe And he'd have to hang on to his seat He was at the doctor all the time Though he never complained, he 
stage with these guys I, I, these guys that I've got a lot of respect for thank the world and I absolutely just love these guys to death and uh, I want to want y'all to know who they are over here playing uh, rhythm guitar and singing harmony vocals Mr. Gerald Mullins y'all give him a big hand <laughs> on the bass going bum 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 better than anybody <laughs> From Knoxville, Tennessee, David Lakin. Y'all give him a nice hand. Back here on the drums is my little boy. Stand up if you don't believe me. Stand up and show him, Luke. There, that's my little boy right there. Uh, he's from here in La Follette. Little old bitty feller. He's from here in La Follette. Y'all make him welcome. Luke Marlowe. On the guitar and... Uh, just phenomenal guitar player, and even as amazing as he is a guitar play, player, he's a better person. And a good friend, no, it ain't you. <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm saving yours up. But uh, from Knoxville, Tennessee, Mr. David Lakin, y'all give him a nice hand. Head back here on the back, in the man, I'm playing the mandolin. He's an awesome mandolin player and guitar player and singer in his own right. Uh, these, these three guys here play in a band from over around Knoxville, Stony Point. And uh, we all a bunch of bluegrass pickers. This is the wild thing. We ain't picking bluegrass, and we're a bunch of bluegrass pickers. But uh, anyway, from down, you make your home down around Rockwood, don't you? Harriman, Tennessee. All the way from Harriman, ten, from Tennessee. All the way from Harriman, Tennessee. Mr. Randy Dyer. I'm giving him a nice hand. Now I save the worst for last. I mean, best for last. This fellow over here has uh, been standing beside me singing for a long time. And uh, he's one of the best singers I ever heard in my life. He's one of the... Uh, and, you know, the ironic thing about this is, is I got a preacher over here and a pre I got bookend preachers up here. We don't stand a chance, boys. I'm telling you. I mean, yes, I mean... I'm going to be somebody's sermon tomorrow. I know that. <laughs> but uh, see, I'm, 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 I help these boys out a whole lot. I give them a lot to preach about. <laughs> but 
from White Oak, Tennessee, my younger brother and my best friend, Mr. Warren Marlowe. His mic is deader than a hammer. There we there go. There it is. Man, this it ain't, guy in the middle right here. It ain't deader than a hammer no more. There we go. I can hear myself now. This guy in the middle right here, most everybody around here knows him. He's a great songwriter and an awesome singer, great friend, good Christian man. Put your hands together. Greg Marlowe. Yeah. Thank you all. They cheat and lie For wealth and war Lord, it will buy But don't they know The judgment day Lord, the gold and silver oh, Is gonna pass away What good is gold and silver too? Lord, if your heart ain't pure and true, sinner, hear me when I say you better fall down on your knees and pray. I'd rather be in a deep dark grave And oh, that my poor soul would say They're living this world in a house of gold Lord, deny my God and lose my soul
going to do another original song. This song means a lot to me right here. Uh, <clears throat> when I, I, I am a, before I go any further, I just want to say, I am a 13, almost a 13 and a half year at this point, cancer survivor. And, uh, yeah, you think you're pickled. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, I, I was given, so 13 and a half years ago, I was given six months to live. And uh, the Lord had other plans, but they had pretty much had just said they had done all they could do and sent me home to wait for the end. And it just ain't never showed up yet. And there again, I'm thankful. In the middle of, uh, it's been a long road. And for the first few years, I had to learn to walk again and several other things that I had to kind of push through. But uh, in the middle of all that, I wrote this song. And uh, while I was going through this, a good friend of mine, who is an amazing guitar player in, an, uh, in his own right, and he had, was, uh, had, had a neck injury, and he was in pretty bad shape, and he had lost his ability to play. And uh, the doctors had given him a pretty bad diagnosis and said, you know, we can probably go in there and try to do something to your neck, but... He had lost the feeling and the use of his fingers, and they said, you'll never play again. That it's very doubtful, so you just might as well. And he loved playing the guitar. And uh, it wasn't before too long that Gene started trying again and seeing what he could do. And the next thing you know, he's playing the guitar. And about every other Friday night down here at Katie's at a little restaurant, we play music together. And he's an awesome musician. But he's a, more than that, he's a testimony of what God can do. It just don't take what the doctors got for you and chisel that in stone because they don't have the final answer well the first verse of this song is about gene and the second verse of the song is kind of my own personal testimony and i'll let you figure the third one out when we get there He was a man of music He loved to bend those strings He worshipped with his fingers As the singers would sing But when the pain had robbed him For the gift he dearly loved Well, he fell down on his knees Crying to the Lord above. Well, Lord, I know you hear me. When I call your name, I know I don't deserve it. Lord, I'm asking just to say, Well, you give this love to me.
among their maltines while the other counts the cost. Then he cries out to the master through his pain and agony. Well, when you enter in your kingdom, Lord, oh, would you remember Got a second chance, Lord. I'm asking you for mine. so much. <clears throat> we got time for one more and then we're going to get on out of the way. Thank you all so much for uh, sitting out there in that sun and the wind and uh, being a part of this with us. It sure means a lot and I really appreciate it. Once again, give these guys up here another hand. These, these guys are awesome. Uh, on behalf of all these guys, thank you all so much and uh, just enjoy the rest of the day, and uh, we're going to have a, I better move that back. I'm going to need that. <laughs> I'm going to need that bad. Uh, we're going to go on out with this song right here, another mashup you could say that we're going to have a little fun with, and uh, trying to remember the words. Oh. Got a photographic memory. I'm just out of film. Christ comes, are you ready to go? These times, they chew me to the bone. Fall down, well, on your knees and pray. A liar and tries to deny to fill your life. It has junk. News on the TV screen doesn't change a thing. That's a natural fact. He's coming back. Bye.
back. Sooner or later, time's running out. We got too much. Satan is a lion, tries to deny. Fear your life with hate and junk. News on the TV screen doesn't change a thing. That's a natural fact. He's calling. so much. We appreciate you. There's still time, so it's. I guess that's going on right now. Is it starting right now? At 3 o'clock. So you can go on over there and get in on that. Um, there was something else I was supposed to tell you, and I forgot it before I got up here. So There is a wallet that still, they still, Miss um, Hensley over here has it. So if you're missing a wallet, you can look over there. Thank you.
introduce some young men to you that uh, we're right proud of in this county and I'm especially proud of because I'm a Jellicoe High School graduate from a long time ago but uh, we're right proud of these uh, I'll read this official thing off right here this the postmark will follow at spring fling committee would like to recognize and honor the Jellicoe High School basketball Blue Devils for representing their community these young men have fought hard to become the District 3A champions, Regional 2A runner-up, and made it for the first time to the state in the school history. And that's a big deal. And we're real proud of them. Y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all give it up. Uh, you know, we're real proud of y'all. and You accomplished a lot. That's a, that's a big deal. That really is. And we're real proud of you. And uh, I'm going to introduce these guys to you. And uh, I, don't, I reckon all of them ain't here, but the ones that's here, then uh, you're going to get introduced. Carson Bolton. Isaac McNeely. John Zucchini. <laughs> Trey Van. Caleb Rose, Dre Webb, Carter Terry, Seth Brandenburg, Micah Shelby, Jacob Bowen, Owen Morgan, Brandon Bird, 
and Brass and Star. Let's get the coach up here too. Coach Reynolds, you jump up here in the middle of these fellas out here. We're real proud of these guys. And uh, y'all give them a big hand. Good job, boys. You want to say something? You sure? Well, we can thank everybody. Good job. We want to just thank you all for recognizing our kids, and they're, they're the ones that need all the recognition. And we thanked a lot of people over the last and uh, the community was phenomenal in their support, and we appreciate that. But most of all, again, because I can assure you they're better people than they are basketball players, and that's a big reason why we were able to uh, accomplish the things we, we were able to accomplish. But thank you all so much.
take the volume in here down a little bit. Yeah, it'll scare us. Check, check. Say, say, end your mic there, Steve. Check, check, check. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. We're happy to be back up here, or Smiley and the Love Dog, or Prison Steve. Um, yeah, and it sounds like we're kind of happy that we've missed the wind, uh, you know, that you all been going through. You know, I'm glad it calmed down a little bit for us. It sounds like you had some adventures, though. <laughs> Is it 
only growing older is something really wrong. Wake up my soul, we got something going on. Nine to five work, it's a pretty low. They always want more than your machine can sew. If this factory would burn, just my go. Back to the field, like a turn the ball. Well, we're getting old, ain't Daisy B. Here's a little first alive in me. Though I can't remember her. I will always remember her grace, sweet love of God's grace. Love of God's grace.
ways of manliness and boys. Cause I got a plan, give it up, and don't try to understand it ain't me. It's the people that say, men are leading the women astray. I say, it's women today that are smarter than the man in every way. That's all right, women are smarter. That's all right, women are smarter. That's all right, women are smarter. Right. Women are smarter. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I 100 percent believe that.
summertime And the living is easy Fish are jumping The cotton is high Thank you. We're not quite at summertime yet, but we're sure headed there. And it probably feels a little bit like summertime out there in the, <laughs> the sun in a parking lot. <laughs> What's a good one, Stephen? You want to sing one? Lifetime 
going to have to keep track of what time it is. I don't have a watch on me up here. <laughs> so whoever needs to, just get out the shepherd's crook and pull us off this stage whenever you're ready. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank y'all. From the other end of the state there, the Memphis Jug Band. from this end of the state. I wrote that one. Thank you. Sorry to take a little time of your time tuning here, but it's got to be done or it's going to be suffering. What are we doing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what to play next. He's tuning. <laughs> well, you know what? What is going on there? It's you know I'm, I work down there at UT. I'm uh, I'm working the music department there. I'm one of the librarians and. 
It's a, I think they're all wrapping up the semester down at UT is what they're doing. You know, so there's a whole lot of people studying. I'm seeing a lot of that. And, uh, so it's, it's coming along. It's coming along. There are another group's about to graduate. Won't be long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Since I have on my Louis Bluey shirt, I might as well play uh, Louis Louis Bluey Howard Louis Bluey Armstrong's greatest hit here. Well, it was late one night in the pale moonlight, all them vegetables they had a spree. Whoop! Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try that again with the guitar on. It was late one night in the pale moonlight, all them vegetables. was free. There was peas and greens, the cabbage and beans. It was the biggest crowd you ever did a see. An old man cucumber stuck up a number. You should have heard them vegetables scream. Ah, oh, the little tiny top, he did the backwards fly. The cabbage tried to shim it, could not stop. The little red beans shook the feet. Watermelon died of a cock eyed heat. Little tomato, the agitator, he shook the shimmy with a sweet potato. And old man garlic, a bit of the colic, down at the barnyard dance this morning, down at the barnyard dance. Knock, knock, 
y'all. Thank you. I guess a Dylan song. How are we doing on time? Anybody know besides me? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. So I guess I don't know. 356. Okay, I think we got time for one more, don't we? That's good and steep. We appreciate y'all uh, sitting out here with us. and uh, Yeah, we're Smiley and the Love Dog or Chris and Steve. Uh, yeah, usually... You know, we, we've thoroughly enjoyed playing here last year. We're happy to be back. You know, we come up here fairly regular because because uh, I'm I'm really love Louie Bluey, Howard Louie Bluey Armstrong, and uh, uh, if y'all haven't been to the festival, you ought to. It's a really cool <laughs> thing that they do there too, um, and it's just really, you know, somebody I loved Howard before the festival. Um, I got to meet him a time or two. And it's uh, just a wonder to me that this community has chosen to honor that one of their native sons like that. And you know, it's a it, not everybody does, and it's a cool thing that you all do. Yeah, I think that definitely deserves a clap there, and it's it's been a, a wonder to see. By the mill, cause the bridge is washed out of the bottom of a hill. Big creeks up, little creeks a level. I grow my corn with a double shovel. You gotta stay all night, stay a little longer. Dance all night, dance a little longer. Throw up your coat, throw it in the corner. Don't see why. Stay a little longer. Talk about my blue eyed Sally. Liz way back on Shinbone Alley. And the number on the gate, number on the door. 
Next house over is a grocery store. You gotta stay all night, stay a little longer. Things all night, things a little longer. Throw up your coat, throw it in the corner. Don't see why you stay a little longer. Thank you all very much. You all stay around for Dustin Ford and the rest of the day here. Thank you all. Thank you very much. I hope. Can I have a mic too? You know, the thing we neglected to do is to thank the sound man. There is nobody more important to live music than the sound man. <laughs> and trust me, they can make or break you. And uh, you can have all the talent in the world, and they can make you sound just terrible. And this is a good one, and we really appreciate you.
And I've seen sadness, I've seen pain, and I've been caught out in the rain. I won't let it change the lane I'm traveling on. Check one, two. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. The legend lives on from the Chippewan down to the big lake they call Gitchakumi. Lake, it is said, never gives up the dead When the skies in November turn gloomy With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more Than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty That good ship in true was a bone to be chewed When the skies in November came Pride of the American side Coming back from some mill in Wisconsin Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With the crew and good captain well seasoned That night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound And a wave broke over the railing coming in and the good ship and crew was in peril they might have split up or they might have capsized they might have broke deep and took water Cook came on deck, he said, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m. a main hatchway came in, he said, fellas, it's been good to know you. Captain wired and he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. That night when the lights came out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Does anyone know where the love of God goes When the waves turn the minutes to hours I'll say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they'd put 15 more miles behind her. Well, they might have split up or they might have capsized. They might have broke deep and took water. But all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron, all superior sings. 
in the rooms of her ice water mansion. In old Michigan, steams like a young man's dreams. Her islands and bays are for sportsmen. Chimed a ring 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down to the big lake they call Kitchikumi. Superior, they said, never gives up the dead when the gales in November come early. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dustin Ford. I'm going to be entertaining you guys for the next 45 or so minutes. And uh, as many of you know, I'm from here in La Follette, Tennessee, 23 years old, and uh, play a variety of music from folk to bluegrass to pop to rock, eh, just whatever the, the day calls for, you know. <laughs> but uh, so hang out, relax. Enjoy this nice breeze and it's died down and it's not feeling like a hurricane. <laughs> I'm going to do an uh, original song for you guys. Uh, I wrote this song uh, with a man in town and a uh, woman from out of town, uh, Keith Lambert and uh, Anita Wilhoy. Or, sorry, not, not Anita Wilhoy. Oh, Lord, why can't I remember her last name? <laughs> This song, uh, this song means a lot to me. Uh, it's a song about perseverance, uh, a song about uh, staying who you are, uh, no matter what gets thrown at you. And uh, the song is called Traveling On. I've 
fast and strong song starts, goodness gracious. Let me retry. <laughs>
told you I'd make it through it. <laughs> uh. I'm going to do a song by, uh, by a guy out of Knoxville named Eric Baker. Thank you. I'm going to tune really quick. <laughs> it's my favorite Chinese song, you know, tuning. There we go. Next song I'm going to do is, uh, is an old Gordon Lightfoot tune. Uh, uh, I don't want to say it was made popular by Tony Rice, uh, but it's how I learned the song existed, uh, which is how I learned about a lot of uh, Gordon Lightfoot songs. <laughs> uh, this is off of uh, Tony's Native American album. The song is called Shadows. Me gently 
darling. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. Won't you lie down by me, baby? Run your fingers through my hair. I've been known around the world, and still I do not understand. It's a shadow on the moon. And the waters here below do not shine the way they should And I love you just in case you didn't know Let it go Let it happen like it happened once before It's a wicked wind and it chills me to the bone And if you do not believe me Come and gaze upon the shadows at your door Won't you lie down by me, baby Run your fingers through my hair I've been known around the town And still I do not understand Is it me or is it you? The shadow of a dream Is it wrong to be in love Could it be the finest love I've ever seen Set it free Let it happen like it happened once before It's a bitter wind And it chills me to the bone And if you do not believe me Come and gaze upon the shadow at your door Please kiss me gently, darling, where the river runs away From the mountains in the springtime on a blue and windy day Where there's beauty all around and the shades of night grow deep Where the morning skies grow dim You will find us in the shadows fast asleep Let it go, let it happen like it happened once before It chills me to the bone And if you do not believe me Come and gaze upon the shadows at your door Thank you very much. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do another original song real quick. Okay. This uh, I wrote this song with a man named Corey Parker out of Nashville, and. Uh, The song is called I Ain't Him. Well, I don't know where this is going, but I don't want to waste each other's time. I don't want to scare you all. Gonna break my heart. I'd rather you let me down tonight. But if you want the real deal, I'm all in. If somebody who treats you right, baby, I'm your man. But if you want 
want someone to pass the time I love them, leave them kind of guy With temporary arms to wrap up in But I ain't him I ain't him If it's not me doing all right this afternoon. Alrighty. I'm going to do another original song really quick. Alrighty. So we all shower, right? I, I would hope. At least. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, we need to we need to have a discussion afterwards. Uh, but uh, I had a shower thought one day, and you know how you, they're all over the place. You, sometimes you're like, "Why do feet smell and noses run?" And those kind of things, right? But uh, but uh, this was a little different uh, because one day I was like, "Wow, what an interesting little phrase that just came into my head." Uh, and I thought, I'm going to make a song about that, but it's going to be a joke. And uh, as I wrote it, I was like, man, this is not a joke anymore. Uh, but as I wrote it, I was thinking, wow, this, is a, this isn't a joke. This is more of a, a serious message that I feel like I have to get through. Um, because as you know, us in uh, Appalachia and a lot of the United States and even the world now, you know, we deal with a drug crisis and opiates and uh, it's a it's a big problem and uh, I don't feel like we don't talk about it enough uh, but uh, this song I ended up writing as kind of a warning uh, because as many of you are like I am we, we all have family and people and friends that are affected by it and uh, this song is kind of written as a warning through their perspective of why not to do that or why not to put yourself through those things. And so uh, uh, this song is called uh, Opiates and Opossums. Opiates 
doctor said there's not much he could do So he signed the note and told me just a few He fills the bottle now, I'm on my way I told him thank you and that's all today Spent all my money just to feel the rush No longer did my life seem so plush Overwhelmed by nerves and bills All because I had to snort my fill They'll leave you lying on the card ground Where all this loss found Have you wondered how you got in the slums With the opiates and opossums time for about one more. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with this one. Uh, this is another uh, uh, this is another Tony Rice made famous songs that wasn't written by Tony Rice. Uh, <laughs> uh, this song is uh, one of my favorites by his. Uh, the song is called uh, Church Street Blues. <laughs> Watching good times, Charlie Friends is driving me insane. Oh, up on Shady Charlotte Street, Lord, the green lights look red. I wish I was back home on the farm in my feather bed. And I got myself a rocking chair to see if I could lose these thin down hard time hell on church tree blues. some band Well I guess I'm just stay right here and pick and sing a while Try to earn me a little change and give them folks a smile And I got 
myself a rocking chair to see if I could lose these thin dime hard time pillow and church tree blues. myself a picker friend read yesterday's news I folded up page 21 and stuck it in my shoes I gave me a nickel to the poor my could turn for the day I folded up my old billfold and threw it far away and I got myself a rocking chair to see if I could lose these thin dime hard time that long shirt street blues A rocking chair to see if I can lose these thin dime hard time hell on church street blues. Thank you guys very much. Uh, come talk to me at my uh, merch table over here on the right. Uh, we'll chat, buy CD. <laughs> uh, I'm joking, you don't have to if you don't want to, but thank you guys so much. Jasmine. Yep, Jasmine Wyatt. They're singing one more. We were just giving away our stuff. Thomasia DeMont, one of the baskets. And our last one goes to Andrew Patty. I was told to also give away this bowl that one of our co-op artists made. And it goes to Cliff. I do not know how to pronounce his last name. Gareth? No. <laughs> Now, 
as a thank you to all of our artists who performed, we're going to give away a Kenny Smith blue chip. So doing the honors is Kenny Smith. <laughs> Don't draw yourself. Sylvester Stallone, you out there? <laughs> Come on, Rocky. All right, we'll go to our second winner. Dustin Ford. Oh, yeah. This uh, chip was handmade over at uh, Knoxville by a good friend of ours, uh, Mr. Matthew Goins. He makes the best flat picks. Yeah, Dustin, you won, buddy. Okay. Here you go. All right, Dustin Ford, man it. One more hand for Dustin. He did a great job on the set. Good singer, good player.
right, here's a song that we had go number one, and uh, Mr. Wayne Winkle wrote this one out of a good friend of ours from South Carolina. He wrote this one back in the 90s and had it stuffed away in a shoebox and uh, found it one day and called us, and uh, we, were, we were happy to record it. It's a great song. It's called Middle of August. We'll do you all a Keith Whitley song. He's uh, one of our very most favorite vocalists ever. And uh, he was inducted to the Country Music Hall of Fame this past year. I was so glad. And uh, we'll try this one for you now. It's called the Birmingham Turnaround. On a plane from Birmingham Leaving you was my plan Then head on south by any means Thought I might blend in round New Orleans When the plane 
plane got off the ground I saw your face in a cloud Saw your tears out on the way Don't guess my heart was free to leave And I'd see you later in New Orleans And I knew my rambling ways Had seen their better days And suddenly I had a change in dreams Caught a plane to Birmingham Back in your arms is where I am At times we laughed and talked about I did the Birmingham turn around. step ladder and I said yeah I never did know my real ladder thank you appreciate you <laughs> oh man Kenny they're laughing at your jokes how's that feel pretty good pretty good yeah, yeah. Kenny to uh, sing this tune for you. This was written by the great Hugh Presswood, and uh, it's a great song. I love this song. It's about a sailor missing his uh, loved one back home, and he's writing her a letter, but uh, I think he does a really good job on this. <coughs> it's called Gulf Stream Dreaming. In the 
Sizzling mobile, it's the springtime. The azaleas are in bloom. About the clothes I can get in is her perfume. One day this parting will be over. And when I get back home, I'll start. Let that Gulf Stream water melt by cold, cold heart. And I've been Gulf Stream dreaming. The tide is rolling in from Mexico. In the sun. part of the day. <laughs> this is one of our uh, gospel songs. And uh, this is one of my favorite songs ever written. It's one called Crime for Crumbs. Son of David, have mercy on me, a little woman pray. Satan torments my heart night and day, but I know that I'm unworthy, Lord. There's others who should get more than simple plea I'm crying for crumbs today please let one fall my way cause I believe that in my heart that you loved me too I know I don't deserve I'm not begging for bread I'm just crying for crumbs Like that woman Who needed help Lord, I need help today Not 
want you to hear me, Lord, but I don't know what to say. But if you would look inside my heart, I believe that you I'm crying for crumbs today. Please let one fall my way. Cause I believe that in my heart that you loved me too. I know I don't deserve one, Lord, but please. I'm not begging for bread I'm just crying for crumbs No, I'm not begging for bread I'm just crying for crumbs I'm crying Good job, Amanda. Well, back I guess it was around 2020. We all we had that had this rig over here, and we always wanted to get a jeep to tow in the back of it. So, like if we went someplace, we could go buy groceries or do some kind of sightseeing or whatever. And so, we finally found the jeep and uh, found all the stuff. Uh, found all the stuff that uh, to uh, hook it up there at a place and we asked them said uh, well can you put it on for us and they said oh no we can't get to that for till about another year I was like another year so then we uh, had to put it on ourselves so we was want to tow that jeep to we was going up in Ohio and staying up there for a week so man we worked two days and two nights putting all that stuff on there and had to rewire the Jeep and put all the mounting stuff on there and tow bar, all that business. So we finally got it hooked up and uh, we started head towards Ohio out there and we got on I-65 out there and uh, I seen Amanda, she was standing up looking out the back window and I could see her back there and she was looking out the back window and she goes, why don't you just go around? Why don't you just pass us? I can't believe how close this guy is to our bumper. I go, what are you talking about? She goes, this guy here in this Jeep behind us said he won't, he's just so close. He won't pass. And I said, are you talking about our Jeep? <laughs> I wish I could tell you all that wasn't true. But uh, it really happened. <clears throat> I was so used to everybody being so mad at us that back here nobody be fussing at you, you know. And I thought, wow, this guy can't even see his bumper. So I back here just pointing at him. <clears throat> but he didn't exist. But it made me feel better. <laughs> A lot better. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, uh, you want to do Denver or okay. preaching or what do you want to do? All right, we'll do Right. This is a Virginia Squires tune that we recorded on our last album. And, uh, used to hear them when me and Kenny first met 29 years ago. And uh, it's been a minute. But uh, this was... <laughs> I haven't driven completely crazy yet. <laughs> Maybe. I don't at, know. at the beginning of the year, I told Amanda, I said, we're going to do something special there since we've been married so long. And uh, so I hung up a big map on the wall. And I gave Amanda a dart. I said, throw this dart at this map, and we're going there. We're going to go there. So uh, we're going to be spending two weeks under the fridge. It's pretty exciting. That is not true. I'm from West Virginia. <laughs> I have a good aim. I'll just leave that there. I'm not ashamed of it, either. All right, Denver. Woo! You ready? 
bring anybody from Denver here today. <laughs> Denver ain't no town for a boy. Bright thoughts and pain and ladies paint my cup of joy. Denver's got sights and places I've never Mama, your random boys come home. Mama, your random boys coming home. Mama, your rambling boys come home. Mama, your rambling boys coming home. goes mild. <laughs> I love it. They met our watchdog over there. Isn't she ferocious? She is. She's like a German shepherd, except just eight pounds. Yeah. Eight pound German shepherd. She thinks she's mighty, though. That's her favorite spot over there. She can spy on all of us and bark at us. We'll do you a song here. It's not the wind. Springtime's my favorite time of year. Not really for singing, but um, everything in bloom's pretty. But I'll try to squeak this one out. It's called It's Not the Wind.
Little darling, we start. Let me hear so sad and blue It's not the wind that's making me lonesome It's not the rain that's making me blue It's no one else but you, my darling Yes, my darling Feel macho after I play that one. When's the last time you heard that word? 80. 80s. 80s. <laughs> right. We did that one for, uh, had to, that was a request there. I want to send that one out to Bob and Slinky. I was asking Bob there. I was like, he said Slinky. I go, Slinky? He goes, yeah. He said, never forget the first time I saw her come down the stairs. All right. <laughs> Come on, y'all, wake up, wake up. We got a few more. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. Shift your knees like this and wake you up. That's what I do. Or just eat sugar. <laughs> what we got? I know, I know oh, okay. All right, we're going to do you a song here. It's one of my favorite gospel songs we've ever done. Clay Hess wrote this song, sang it for us one night at three in the morning. And uh, I love this song so much. And um, hope you enjoy it too. It's called I Know Why.
is good. Appreciate that, man. Not only does he have jokes. <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting silly. I need some ice cream or something. Ice cream? I'm needing a sugar something. Can I do without a treat? Not for me. I'm trying to do better. I've lost like five pounds probably since the last time you saw me. I'm trying to get down to my original weight, six pounds. Seven ounces, got a ways to go, but uh, y'all put me on the prayer list. Anybody got a treadmill out there at home? Man, those things are hard to dust, aren't they? Wow. I know, and to think I begged for that thing, thinking it was going to miraculously <laughs> turn me into what I wanted. But uh, you kind of got to, like, do your part, and yeah. uh, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm not going to do it. All right, we're going to do a song here. Um, Our brother-in-law wrote this song and uh, co-wrote this song with Becky Buller. Alan uh, is married to my sister, plays for Del McCurry, plays bass for him. And um, he wrote this a long time ago. It's one of my favorite songs he's written. It's called Without a Trace. Still loves you and does. 
doesn't have a clue why you've gone so far away and you moved your heart to another time and place without a trace do one more song for y'all. Thank y'all for hanging around with us, and thanks to Robin and Joseph and Samantha and everybody that had a part in this and uh, giving us all, all some, y'all yeah, the volunteers, giving us somewhere to hang today and have fun and and uh, be around each other and not be inside, right? Sitting somewhere. Thanks to all. I had this windblown hair look if I'd been inside. That's all right. Uh, thanks to all the people that attended the master workshop over here. Had a great time over there. And uh, y'all should have made it. We gave away five Martin guitars over there. And, uh, and NASCAR tickets. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't do small time workshops. There was a lady that believed us one time when we said that we'd given away NASCAR tickets. I'm like, lady, do we look rich? <laughs> don't ever believe us. <laughs> yeah. We was, I think we was in Branson, maybe might have been over Silver Dollar City or Dollywood or something. She's all high on that theme park. Our first show. It says, stick around, we're going to give away some NASCAR tickets. Man, they came to every show. And uh, never, we just never got around to it, did we? I decided to go. Anyhow, we'll leave y'all. Check out our website, kenny-amandasmith.com. We uh, play all over the country, so hopefully we'll wind up. I know we're at Dollywood. And Kodak, Tennessee. That's not too Dumplin awful far. Dumplin' Valley. We were playing over yeah, there. Dumplin' Valley, Kodak. Yeah. That's a great festival if you want to go to a bluegrass festival. That's right. Just saying. Check, like Amanda said, check her website. We're probably playing at a roadside table near you. And uh, you never know about us. But uh, one more time for my band over here, Miss Amanda Smith, folks. Your 2014 IBMA oh, Female Vocalist of the Year. I never introduced you. That's all right. See if my cousin would have been here, I'd have got in trouble. You got but, chewed uh, out. Mm -hmm. Standing over here playing guitar for you today, he's won Guitar Player of the Year two times for our Bluegrass Association, and he was nominated 20 years in a row. And I'm so grateful that we get to do this. And met 29 years ago from the great state of Indiana, Mr. Kenny Smith. Appreciate y'all. Please sit down. Please sit down, y'all. I didn't want you to pout later. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you, I'm getting Pow. silly now. Whoa. Pow. Watch out. <laughs> Perfect. 
Her sugar's low. <laughs> Do the Studebaker? You want to do that one? Yeah. All right. Well, Joseph, which Annabelle said, what was it? Jofus. Jofus. When yeah, she was like she really tiny, she said, "Mama, that Jofus boy is so nice." So I'm gonna send this out to Jofus. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. <laughs> Same thing. 